Hey, this is Mike Johnston here with another awesome and interesting video about stuff that matters to you if you're an online business. And in this case, it's just cool stuff because today um, Google released their Daydream View, which you see here, which is it's uh, it's the kind of upgraded Google Cardboard. Um, <coughs> It says, Daydream View is a VR headset and controller by Google that lets you explore new worlds, kick back in your personal VR cinema, and play games that put you at the center of action. <coughs> so, this is no doubt cool, and I like it. It's uh, pretty nifty looking. Has, uh, you know, basic more than cardboard feel to it. And I had Google Cardboard actually uh, last year. Um, I got it as part of a promotion for a movie, and I thought it was cool. I had fun with it, and just recently, I wanted to check out VR on my iPhone 6. Well, couldn't do that with the old cardboard, so I ordered a nifty new VR headset from China, which I put together myself. Look at it. Okay. Not super durable, but the phone goes in here. You fold it up. It's kind of like cardboard, except big enough. <clears throat> for iPhone 6 and you know it works it gives you a uh, a taste of, of what VR is and um, <clears throat> once you have that taste I think you really can start to understand how VR is going to change everything in the world of visual entertainment um, because and, and a better VR headset such as um, Oculus or um, you know one of the other, and even the uh, the uh, PlayStation 4 has a VR set that you can get for it. Um, <clears throat> and it's become down into the range of being affordable. I mean, Oculus is still between like five hundred and eight hundred dollars for the head for a good headset. Um, I think the Google headset here is about seventy bucks. At least that's what I had seen quoted. Um, as being the the estimated price of it um so okay you know cool and, and the more you imagine it i mean if you like i said if you get the chance to play with it you can now watch um goo videos on youtube in vr um and there's technically two different things which get mixed there's 360 videos which just lets you look all around otherwise <coughs> panoramic videos could be another name for them that people use um, and then there's VR, which is virtual reality, which is another reality, which might be cartoons. It might be augmented reality where, um, <clears throat> like Pokemon Go, you have not real things blended into your view of real things on your iPhone or, or your other device. And then now imagine that on a headset. So you have things that aren't there mixed in with things that are there and I think it's going to be evolving really quickly and I've been watching vlogs a lot of late because I'm kind of doing more with video I've always really liked video um, 10 or 12 years ago I, uh, I saw a lot of the future of what was going to come and I, I tried to build a, uh, a website of what I thought a web to TV channel might look like it was called the indie channel which is spelled T H E I N D E C H A N N E L dot com. I couldn't get I N D I E. I had to go with I N D E. But anyway, Indie Channel. And it was based on WordPress, and, and the front was a big video player that would play big enough to go on to TV. Um, so if you got a, a smart TV and you could look at a web page through the TV, you could watch it that way. And I had a, um, a lot of indie music and indie film clips on it and um, I had the, the front video player set up as streaming a playlist you can watch any video on YouTube now with um, VR it's even if it's not shot in VR although that uh, works kind of I think on a lot of videos but um, things like cardboard and the, the little Chinese VR box and Google's new uh, headset I think really brings VR within the reach of anybody to try it. And once you try it, you'll probably be hooked. Well, okay. So what are the, what's going to come from VR? What is going to VR, VR going to do? Well, imagine anywhere you can 
go that you can take a photo you can create a VR experience and that's one thing in the real world um, and the technology to do that is also getting more affordable I uh, I did a quick search on um, VR cameras just to that's hoot sweet get out of there okay just to see what was available and what was going to be available um, let me get on to the right thing because I, I have uh, the top of the <coughs> screen recorder over my tabs okay and I found the views camera and um, I there's a lot of cameras out there and if you're a camera manufacturer I'm sorry I'm not trying to exclude you and I'm not saying views is particularly any better just that this is what I found and um, it kind of represents what I wanted to talk about um, so anyway I found the views camera and I thought it would be a nice mobile camera that people could use to create VR video um, okay so you can pre-order it I looked at the prices and it costs about eight hundred dollars and that may be a little salty for some people but I would love to have this to play with um, and then when I was thinking about that because I've, I've also been watching a lot of vlogs lately um, because I've been doing more video and it's something that's caught my interest um, specifically let's say Casey Neistat and Roman Atwood because um, I think mean, they're kind of right now at the top um, of the of the genre and because of that I've been watching what they do and Casey does a lot of camera work with a lot of different cameras and a lot of different angles and with drones and all that stuff and I thought oh well I wonder how long it'll be until he does his first VR episode a whole episode in VR and then I thought well I wonder if anybody really did that and I searched for it and the truth is I don't think anybody's really done a good VR vlog episode there, there's one there that's kind of like okay but it's pretty basic um, and um, so I thought well I wonder how long that'll be and, and that could be interesting because if you imagine <coughs> like with a uh, with a vlog you know you, you have to look at perspective well okay I say I have one VR camera how do I want it how how do I want the viewer to experience my world um, for example I could screw it onto a hard hat stick it on my head and then the viewer would get the experience of essentially being me because the view would be like right here and they could see everything I'm doing or do I want to put it on a stick and hold it here and then the perspective will be like you're right beside me um, that's pretty cool and I thought I want to get one of these I want to try this so views if you're listening demo demo okay anyway but I really would I really would I, I've like I've joined up with your social networks and things like that and uh, I really think that uh, this is the future um, another nice thing about the views is also that it comes with its own video editing software that lets you edit 2d and 3d and VR and all that um, so that's probably something you're going to need if you're going to get one of these cameras um, I would imagine uh, so that's that's the camera okay and then I'm just going like my train of thought today because I was thinking about this all day long and it's just like <laughs> expanded um, and the more you think about it the more you realize this is probably the next big technology that's going to change something that is really familiar because now Imagine doing movies and TV in VR so that, you know, like you're in an action, you're watching an action movie and instead of being back here and the movie's up on the screen or even 3D where it's coming out at you, now you're inside the movie and, you know, like there's a chase scene going on. You might be in the car that's being chased with the star and he's like, you know, and you're right here or you might be outside the car kind of hovering or you might be up in the air watching because it's the same thing as doing a vlog where do you want the perspective of the viewer to be um and and i didn't really look at that sorry i didn't i didn't look at that to see if he's going to do that and i mean you can do it with tv too and pretty soon where 3d tv kind of flopped it's going to be just a regular 2d tv with vr capability and a headset 
that works with it. Um, and to give you a, a really immersive entertainment experience and imagine it at sporting events, you know, where's your perspective going to be there? Are you going to be sitting in the stands at the Super Bowl? Are you going to be down on the field with the players? Are you going to be the ball? You know, I mean, there's so much potential there. Um, and, and it, you know, you could argue that, okay, well, it's going to hurt live events like a concert. If I can virtually attend a concert via a VR camera, why do I want to spend two or three hundred dollars for a ticket and go? Well, number one, because, you know, being there is always going to be different. But number two, pay-per-view. Maybe you can't just go free to that concert or that sporting event through VR. Maybe it's going to be a pay-per-view experience. Well, that's okay. You know, and, and you could have one headset registered per ticket and, you know, a unique identifier with, uh, with each headset so that only one is going to be activated. I mean, there are, there are ways around it, and obviously people will think of a lot more. <coughs> um, but being consumer affordable, I think, is really interesting and it's going to change things um and then what about other things gaming well the new playstation 4 already has a vr pack that you can get that uh brings vr into playstation games um for some reason the browser is being super slow here which is a pain in the butt probably because i'm recording and doing this Oh, and I got a brow. Yeah, I have. Yeah, okay. I have too many things open. It's it's a rudimentary desktop. Sorry. Um, so there's that. So there's PlayStation VR. There's Oculus Rift. There's um, others. You know, and like I said, at the low end of it, price wise, is the new um, Google headset. Uh, okay, so that's. VR games and and I'm I'm also thinking about how streaming is going to go. Like re I'm recording this with Bandicam, which is popular among um, game streamers on YouTube and and other platforms. And I'm wondering if you're going to be able to s stream VR games. Well, I I checked that out, and as it turns out, the answer appears to be yes, you can. And there's already a company set up to do that. Um, and here they come. Wowza. It's Wowza. Wowza.com. If it ever loads. They are a streaming provider for VR, like live stream or YouTube is for regular video. And I'm sure YouTube will get on the bandwagon and be, you, you'll be able to stream VR. Since you can already stream, you'll soon certainly be able to stream VR. But Wowza Media Systems, virtual reality and 360 streaming, deliver engaging viewer experiences. And you even get a free trial if you have the stuff to do it and like I said there certainly are other cameras and there are other cameras which are cheaper than the one I, we were just looking at however you know you can look those up yourself I'm not going to give you a whole list <laughs> um, okay if my browser was not being such a total friggin tool um, and the next thing I thought of is okay so it's going to change movies it's going to change TV it's going to change streaming um, public events, uh, you can stream your local high school football game in virtual reality if you want to, as long as the technology is there, and I'm sure it will be, because things are evolving very fast anymore. So then the next thing is, um, well, what about chat? What about video chat? When are you going to be able to essentially be with the person you're talking to in the same um, virtual reality space? Well, it seems as though you already can to some extent, at least with um, animated characters. Um, okay, well, how long until you can do it live? Let's say, you know, I'm I'm in a room in Pennsylvania and you're in a room in Los Angeles. And let's go a step more and say, okay, we're we're both in a hotel. It's the same chain. It's essentially the same room, in on two different sides of the country. And now we connect via virtual reality chat. It's pretty much like we're in the same room. It's sort of an augmented reality. Now both the rooms are the same, so it looks the same to both of us. And now we're both there. The only difference is we can't physically touch. Well, that brings to mind chat roulette and, and sites like that where there's that two-way 
disappearing video stream that lets you chat with all sorts of people. Um, and what if that was virtual reality? How would that change that? Quite a bit, I imagine, because, gosh, people tend to do quite a bit as it is without virtual reality. But bring that into the equation, that uh, probably would change it some more, as well as other types of video that you you know don't see at the theater. I'm sure that would change <laughs> quite a bit, too. So anyway, um, that's uh, pretty much my thoughts on virtual reality. And the reason why I titled this the way I did is because I'm anxious to see who does the first real virtual reality blog and how they set it up. And the other reason is because I've been doing content so long, first as a writer and then as uh, an online promotions company, um, I was curious to see how quickly I could grab a spot on the first page of Google search with this video, an image I'm going to make on the same topic, and a blog um, that I'm going to write on the same topic, um, which is just essentially the first VR vlog. Um, you know, it's going to be a long tail keyword, a long tail keyword search. 20 years from now, people are going to search for who did the first VR vlog. And then, you know, my stuff will be there. I just it's it's a marketing thing. I want to see how fast it takes. And right now it's it's fairly wide open territory. There's a lot of stuff that shows up but very little with those that specific title um with those specific keywords. So, that's your marketing lesson. Let's let's watch that and we'll just do the search uh every day for a couple of days and and see how long it takes me to get to the first page of search is either an image, a video or a blog result or perhaps all three. Um, and there's your marketing lesson. Thanks for watching. My four-year-old, Vi, also has her own YouTube channel and does her own little show. Um, she has toy reviews and, and she goes places and sees things and it's a fun little show. I'm starting her off early because she, at four, is going to be the one who inherits all this technology which is just starting to come to be now. So, uh, and there's also a link to um, my uh, business YouTube channel down there as well. So if you want to learn more about what I do as a business, check that out. Tater tot. And subscribe, like, whatever. Join up for the ride. It's going to get interesting. See you later. Hey, I saw the coolest thing yesterday when I was at Ferguson Plumbing Supply in Oaks, PA. They have these little scooter carts that the employees use to go around and, and pick parts for people's orders. Um, it's like a little sort of razor scooter built onto a cart that they like scoot around the building with. I have some video which is coming up now, so watch.